Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is Halloween on a Tuesday. <laughs> How random. We have for the visual guys. If you sorry, if you're on Spotify, Apple Music, or whatever, you really missed out just then. Yeah. Winnie was in her little witch costume, but it has like a Santa hat on it. Like I'm thoroughly oh, confused. She's a wizard. It's a wizard. Oh. So it's like her ro- her cloak, her robe. She looks so cute. And now she's gonna chew now it off. Now she's gonna chew it off. Anyways, um, happy Halloween. It is October 31st, almost November, which means almost start of the season. Right around the corner. Very excited. We're very excited. We're very excited, but I'm not loving watching Winnie chew up her costume. Um, oh. Should we maybe take it off? Yeah. Can you take it off? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'll just get right into it, you guys. As Georgia said, it's spooky season. So I thought, first of all, we could start off the episode by kind of asking some Halloween-themed questions to each other. Um, also, because Georgia is Australian, obviously, they don't celebrate Halloween, right? Not, like, necessarily. Like, I've done it twice. And the first time I did it, I was a kid, and I just wanted to do it because I knew it was American. Like, vulnerable moment time. Um, <laughs> my favorite movie ever is A Cinderella Story with uh, Michael... Chad Michael Murray. Chad Michael Murray. From... Um, <clears throat> One Tree Hill. One Tree Hill. And... He's like playing football. And like when I was a kid, I didn't know what American football is, but all I knew was that they were wearing helmets. So I got my dad's cricket helmet out of the garage, put it on, and pretended they were wearing football. Anyway, so you were Chad Michael Murray? No, I no. This is like how like American stuff like influence. Oh. Like I was like, oh, that's so cool. It's American. So I like you meant for Halloween, you were Chad Michael Murray. <laughs> no, that would be good, but no. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, I begged. Like, it was, like, me, my little cousin, and Gemma and Toby, and we just dressed up randomly and just, like, trick-or-treated. Didn't get much. Honestly, people put – Australians put signs up on their door saying, like, F off, like, turn around. We don't have really? any candy. Like, we don't do that American, like – Wait, yeah. so do people – does anyone, like, have candy, though? Yeah. Candy? Like, some people will, but then some people, like, feel strongly against it. Would your house have candy for people? Uh, I don't think we have. Also, mm-hmm. I live on a farm, so to go off our driveway would be, number one, very spooky. Number two, you'd probably step in a pothole. Yeah, number yeah. three you're just not making that journey yeah yeah i mean it's not that it's a very well-established home yeah but it i guess you don't have it's neighbors that are no, close. no we used to live like more in the like busy area yeah. but i can't remember anyways the second time i dressed up um and i did it with my high school friends because it was like end of year 11 or something and school had just finished essentially but anyways only i've really celebrated like twice three times maybe okay so let me ask this from now i'm just coming up with questions from an outsider's perspective how old do you think is too old to go trick to or trick or treat yeah. oh great question i think if you're because <clears throat> no, i, I like... have my age like when i stopped and i want to see what you just kind of like the... Ugh, i don't want to how just say something viewers... just say something how young are our viewers i don't know just say something no <laughs> No, don't, don't. Um, Guys. I would probably say maybe nine. Nine? As as you hit, like, double dig. No. Maybe 11. Wait, now I'm so out of touch. It nine? So no, I can't remember. No, definitely not nine. But, like, no, he's, he, okay, here's my point. Okay. If you're 10, 11, 12, 13, you better be accompanying your younger brother and sister. Like, you better not be out on your own doing this business. Like, if you're reaching that age, like, it's okay because you can get, like, you know, oh, I'm taking my little sister. But, yeah. like. I say, like, 10 is when you hit the threshold of, like, you're responsible for walking around your little siblings. I think, like, 10, 11, maybe, I guess. I don't know. Well, once you get to middle school, I feel like, I don't know. There's there's also sometimes, like, group, like, it would be, like, a group thing. Like, it's not like I'm going with my mommy and daddy. No, but I, no, I know, but I'm saying, like, if you're an older sibling. No, I know exactly what you're saying. I'm just answering the question. Yeah. Or when I think I stopped. Honestly, I actually can't remember. Because I was going to, because, I don't know, I guess I graduated, um, I graduated, elementary school when I was nine and I might have stopped then but I feel like nine is so young to me now that that seems crazy yeah I feel like 11 maybe I don't know you guys tell us you guys are probably I don't know some of you guys probably trick-or-treat that's cute though um okay next question we want to know y'all's opinion too so whatever what is the best Halloween candy or like your top three see I was gonna ask you this like I know that you have like um candy corn and that's like we'll get there we'll get there we'll get there well, no, I was supposed to say, like, Halloween-themed candy. Because, like, sometimes I just see a bunch of candy. And then sometimes I see, like, Halloween-themed. Like, or oh, Easter-themed, like, peeps and stuff like that. You don't have that all Yeah, around. that's really rare, though. So no. just best just candy, candy in general? Yeah, not Twix. Okay. So valid. Is this just American? Yes. Okay, Twix. See, like, I'm a caramel girl. Uh, yeah, imagine you're trick-or-treating. Like, someone puts 
X, Y, and Z in your bucket, you're like, yes, like okay. let's go. Okay, Twix, Twix peanut M and M's. Okay. And Reese's. maybe like a Snickers. What? Reese's has been getting. Sometimes it's too thick. Snickers. I, I told you I'm a chocolate girl. caramel girly. I just bought that 135 pack of all the caramel stuff, the peanut and caramel stuff. I've been devouring it. She did buy. Yeah, you you would love Halloween. She bought her own <laughs> a huge candy. Why bag. not? No kid's gonna get it. I bought it for the trick or treaters. Yeah. I no one's coming to at all. No. That's good. Okay, I agree with Twix. I love Butterfingers. I'm a Butterfinger girl. They're like not that popular, but so good. And then Skittles are so good. I know you have a thing with Skittles because your friend got Crohn's, but <laughs> I, shout out Agnes. I love Skittles. Um, I love no else? gummy classes. Ooh. I'm naming chocolate. I'm forgetting about the sugary sh- yeah stuff. Anything sour. Yeah. But here's my thing. I can eat more chocolate because like I can never get enough of washing down with milk. As soon as like the sour stuff starts burning my tongue and I can get like a chemical reaction, it quits. <laughs> You're so animated today. I'm living for this. Again, you guys, you don't want to know why I had this. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, to be completely transparent, our apartment complex had trick or treating or like buckets of candy yeah. in the front. We got to make our own bag and we did bend. I had my first Laffy Taffy. I only thought it was a song up until yeah. about 40 minutes Wait, ago. What song? Girl, don't shake that Laffy Taffy. That Laffy Taffy. <laughs> you know what? You know, she's in a good mood when she actually sings when I ask her to. You sing twice now. People point it out when you do. <laughs> Great singer. Um, but yeah, we got to have candy, and it's this time of year, guys. Practice is hitting; it's killing in a good way. But we're tired, and we need to replenish with obviously buckets of candy, and it's been great. Hey, Any way um, you can get those calories in, I don't care where it comes from. Yeah, the calorie can come from avocado or forty pieces of Twix. Not not nutritional advice. So I'm, I'm saying <laughs> calorie. I'm not talking about the fats, the sugars, the carbs. But I'm talking about the calories. Okay, not nutritional advice. George is a social major. <laughs> And that's okay. Um, did you flick me off? <laughs> oh my goodness. You're crazy today. Okay, next question. Um, what is the best Halloween movie? Did you even watch? Like, we'll give a little background on your relationship. Oh, and I cast for the ghost. Okay. Do you have any relationship with these movies? You know them. You know, you've heard of them. Actually, we guys, watched Twitches like two years, three years ago. Was that the first time? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Twitches. What about Hocus Pocus? Man, no, we watched Hocus Pocus. We watched, excuse me, we watched Twitches too. Have we? Yeah, we've watched Twitches. I don't know if you paid attention. This is back when you didn't like movies. Is this, is Twilight considered a... <gasps> We should uh, watch that Is tonight. Twilight considered a Halloween movie? We can. It's not, but like it... We it watched fits. the Michael Myers movie three years mm-hmm. ago. Like Halloween, whatever, yeah. That was terrible. Yeah, and I've been watching Harry Potter a lot. That's when he said, oh, when the first movie that came out of COVID, the guy that, the Road Rage movie. What? Do you remember the Road Rage movie? When he got cut off and he ended up stabbing? I do, I do. That was crazy. That was so random. Nobody's going to know you. No, your brain is flourishing today. You're so active. Are you going to be No, you're going to be Harry Potter story. Um, No, I'm just saying we've been watching, or Harry Potter's been on, I've been watching a lot. I feel like that's been spooky. That's like the same as Twilight. Like it gives Mm -hmm. like spooky season, but it's not like strictly Halloween. Mm -hmm. But the other day I was like listing off what Halloween movies you could watch because I like want to, or we want to like- Culturize it. Yeah. Well, no. Well, yeah, I guess. I want want to feel the vibes. Yeah. Yeah. And so I said Halloween Town and she said, what's Halloween Town? And I was like, that is literally like the number one classic Halloween movie, which you never heard of it, which is crazy. But we're gonna we're gonna watch a Halloween movie after this. I guess we could watch Twilight if you want it. No, because I've seen that eighty times. Okay. Well, we could, okay. We'll have to think about it. I want to watch a Halloween. I want to watch like a Disney Plus like terrible graphic Halloween movie. Okay. Well, I love I love my favorite are Twitches and Hocus Pocus, personally. But we can find another one. I'm sure there's probably. Yeah, we'll do some browsing. But those are my favorites. Do you have any? No. Okay. And that's fine. Okay. Next, I wanted to ask you if you've ever carved a pumpkin. I don't have any memories of doing so, so I want to say no. No. I feel like I would remember carving because I don't. Yeah, I've never carved a pumpkin. When you go to the grocery store this time of year, do like do they have like stacks of those of big pumpkins outside or no? Maybe it's summer. Okay. In, oh, I guess in the fall you wouldn't. Because <laughs> it's not Halloween. That's such a 
disappointment. That's no fun. Okay, so you never cut the pumpkin. Hmm. The pumpkins not grow. Well, we have like butternut squash. Like what you, you don't carve a butternut squash. Call, yeah, that's what I'm saying. What you call butternut squash, I think, is just our pumpkin. I think. No, we have butternut squash. Our pumpkins look like that though. You're what? Like they, they look long and elongated. That's the sh- that's the stuff that we. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I forgot what they're called though. Now I'm having like a crisis, a cultural crisis. A cultural crisis. It's like I'm not bilingual, but but I can't. What? Remember. I'm not bi. You know when people like struggle like to flip the language. I'm just speaking English. Actually, I hope I'm speaking English till half years, but I can't even remember what we call them. The pu- the squash you eat? Summer the squash. Yes. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I feel like we could. List off squash for the next 20 minutes. Maybe we should move on. We should move on. Okay. Have you ever had candy corn? Yes, because I had an amazing shock. I thought it was hard. I thought it was so unsuckable. Oh. I bit into it. It was a bit grainy. Yeah. No, I don't love it. I don't eat it. I don't like it. I don't don't really know why it's... Like, does anyone actually like it? BK does. Really? Boy can do all the stuff does. Because he's... Yeah, he had a bag at his desk, I think, last year. And that's when I tried it. And I was like, this isn't hard. I thought it was supposed to be like rock... No, I think it literally just tastes like icing. It's like condensed yeah, icing. It's just sugar. Yeah, just sugar, basically. So some people like it, but I, I don't like it. Yeah. But I'm glad you've had it. I'm glad you have an opinion on it. Yeah. Um, and I ha- I'm glad I have the right opinion on it. Okay. Then I just wanted to, there's like, this is just one random question because I didn't know the answer and I want to know what you would guess. When is Halloween thought to have originated? Guys, get an answer in your head. I want to know what you say. This is also, don't question my sources. This could be completely wrong. I got it off the internet. I'm guessing it was some kind of, like, business executive decision to sell more candy. Like, did, like, Mars come up with it or something? Well, give me a year. 19... 18... <laughs> Go ahead. 19... Just give four, an answer. 1942. Okay, No. <laughs> 4,000 BC. What? <laughs> yeah. What? That didn't have a twig. <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> She's cursing. She has no filter today, guys. Um, but hopefully that was bleeped. Yeah, 4,000 BC. I think that's crazy. I would have probably said like 1600s. Just because like all... I don't even know what this stuff means, but all Halloween. I thought, it was, I thought it was just supposed to be like something that happened off like a tragic... I said 1942 because like the war period and like... People probably need a little they something, needed something to look forward, to look forward to. to. Or like the business, like trying to get the economy back. Like, let's yeah. buy candy. Like, that was my thought process. No. I don't know. That, that would have meant like my grandparents wouldn't have grown up with Halloween. That would have been crazy. I don't know. When was the last, what was the last holiday that was, well, I guess people make like freaking, they make like cinnamon roll day, national yeah, donut the, day. No, but those are days, like not holidays. Like, yeah. National me, holidays. What is holiday? Like anything like religious Mm, July 4th. Like Thanksgiving's not a holiday for us. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys have... Okay, so you don't celebrate Halloween. You don't celebrate Thanksgiving. What holiday... She cannot chew that toy any louder. I don't think. (laughs) Hey, Winnie. Okay, you guys don't celebrate Thanksgiving or Halloween. Do you have any... Do you celebrate any holidays that we don't, or do you just have less holidays? Well, we have... Like, <laughs> there's two that stick out that you guys definitely don't have, and it's like eight grand final day, and that's a holiday. And I think Melbourne Cup Day. Some people give days off for the horse races and the footy. I'm pretty sure. Mm. Well, Long it's weekends. just like our Super Bowl. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't think we have any like na- like national. Keep in mind, we were a prison for the British. Like, we don't really have many like old rooted. Like, we would not have a four thousand BC BC. Well, this this didn't start in America. Oh. It started in because America was is young too compared to Europe. Yeah. But okay. Okay. Last question: If you were an adult, how many pieces of candy would you give the trick or treaters? If you just say you end up living in America, it depends on manners. If you knock on my door and start demanding, it's one. One. If it's if you're a little cutie and you've got a cute little outfit on and you're like very polite, please thank you. Yeah. Don't be calling me ma'am. Mm. Then you can't live in the south. Three or four. Three or four. Okay. Yeah, I think my goal in life is to be so successful that no. I... No. Wait, continue. Sorry, continue. It's okay. Now she's so conscious of interrupting continue. me because continue. of the one person that pointed it out. Continue. Um, I don't remember. You were so self-conscious. You want to get to the um, 
point in life where... I was so self-conscious. No, I want to be so successful that I get to the point where I can provide, like, full-size candy bars on Halloween. Mm-hmm. That's when you've made it. Like, you're the favorite house, so everyone would get one, but, like, it's a win. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I- Nobody's going to egg your house if you're giving full-size candy bars. No one's TPing your lawn. Do you know what that stuff is? Yeah, toilet paper. I know, but, like, do you know what... Do you you know? throw it out things. It's a okay. waste, especially... 2020 people, that would just be sent into a spiral. Wait, hold on. Can we talk about the fact that we bought... To- I haven't shut up about this. Yeah. We bought toilet paper the other day. $33? Who is TPing? Who is TPing houses? You're, if my kid You're decided rich. to TP, I would make them go to the store and buy the toilet paper. Yeah. That is insane. That's um, ridiculous. I was also going to say, I'm, I don't think I will be the person to like answer the door to knock. I would definitely just put a pile at the front and say, take whatever. Actually, I don't really? care. Really? It's the bowl. Door. They take all the candy oh. and steal the bowl. Okay, for it then, it's not my problem. <laughs> it was there. Okay. I had intentions. What, what about the cute kids that come up next and Boo! Watch? Competitiveness. Be first. That's how you instill competitiveness. Breed okay. them. And that concludes our <laughs> segment on Halloween. Um, hope you guys enjoyed your Halloween. If you're listening to this after, it had no relevance. But whatever, you could hear us ramble. Um, getting into our first sponsorship, did you know that Phillips Real Estate also covers the Roanoke area? Check out their latest listing, a four-bedroom house in the Cave Spring area listed for just $299,000 with over $40,000 in recent updates. The address is 3559 Meadowlark in Roanoke. Go to Phillips Real Estate in RV on Facebook to see pictures and more or call Dave at 540-346-4552 to schedule a showing. Or find out how to have your house advertised on this podcast. And now, as your, our viewers can see, Winnie was very excited for the next segment, Wagging Her Tail. And that's Roommate Report Card. Roommate Report Card is brought to you by 310 Rosemont. If you're looking for some awesome apparel, 15% off. It's located on Main Street. Mention Queens of Castle. And get some cool stuff for the upcoming season. Georgia, Roommate Report Card, what do you have for me? This week, you've giveth and you've taketh. Mm-hmm. That's you've, a good point. You've giveth chai cookies taylor swift to be specific <laughs> yeah i loved them i did i and i'm not really a nutmeg girl and i was not making that she actually for the longest time tried to hide that from me <laughs> and i still had the decency oh you found out on your own i said you had it i didn't, I didn't mean it like that mm-hmm. you were trying to hide it until you finally broke mm-hmm. and i still had the respectability to try and i loved it yeah so that was a give it a take it is is that you just left the oven on yeah after you had made them yeah um we also have this is we've been discovering like how we've been like bored up and like whatever and she's like she leaves the lights on every so often whatever i would have got a yelling at if i left any sort of light on any sort of whatever and it's especially in australia too like our outlets like they're not just they have a switch but on and off mm-hmm. so like mine were always off whatever i was always so conscious of it so like that's been bred into me let me tell you though this is where you're wrong because that i also would get yelled at if i left the lights on and still do when i go home so i think it's me rebelling deep down by leaving some of the lights on in my room and i know it's bad and i try not to and winnie just farted on me (laughs) she did i could hear it and i wasn't gonna say anything but i took away (laughs) it's so bad you guys Uh, she's right here and she's so cute but okay i'm sorry that was inappropriate winnie now I've lost my train of thought. Um, I, try, I try not to leave the lights on. I know it's bad, but I just, it feels so much. It's not when we leave. Just when we're here, I like yeah. leave the lights on in my closet and stuff just because it feels like more, I don't know, it feels homey. When you pay your own bills, I guess you can do that. I know, but it's bad for the environment. I need to stop. I need to get better. Mm-hmm. That's my goal for 2024 <laughs> when we get there. Um, but that's fair. I, I've added and inhibited to your life, I suppose. Um, we're making you turn the oven off, even though you left the oven on the other week and what, what, I didn't say I anything. Cooking? What was I cooking? I don't know. You haven't cooked in a long time. Exactly. I said the other week. You probably yeah. haven't cooked since. You haven't cooked in a long time. What's up with that? This is the podcast once again. <laughs> Nuggets and chips in the air fryer. Like as far as it's been. Yeah. Um, Kelly, thank you so much, George's mother, for getting us an air fryer, but you've also made Georgia reduce her cooking skills or not skills but all she'll cook is fries and chicken nuggets is that, is and that trader, whatever Trader Joe's stuff there is yeah 
I feel like that's fair to say. Yeah, I'm at this point. I'm just looking for conveniency. I'm not trying to wait around for my meal. I'm ravenous. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't cook without like if I'm cooking, like I'm snacking along the way. Then by the time I get to my meal, it's not even good anymore. That's very true. You are a big snacker, so it's probably like hard to be around so much food and then have to wait to eat a meal. Meal? No. Okay, I get that. See, I just love. I I like cooking. I love baking. Yeah. Um. So I just enjoy the process, and then I always have room afterwards to eat. Mm-hmm. But that's just me. But I completely understand where you're coming from. Like, we have, like, we've said this before, like, when it comes to posting a treats or whatever, she's always like, I would, like, eat the desserts. I'm like, I don't know, I would, like, give or take. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can, mm. like, maybe I'll go for something else. I don't know. Yeah, no, I'll always be down for dessert. I'm yeah. always ready for a sweet treat. <sighs> okay. Now, my grade. I, I was going to give you a C, and now I can't remember why. Yeah, you said you were going to have a burnt oh! of me. You didn't want to write it down. No, I'm here. I just want to ask you this. How many times out of the last 10 times the dishes have been done do you think you've done them? None. <laughs> okay, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> so you know you haven't done the dishes and you still make no <laughs> It's not like a little sneaky ha-ha. Like... <laughs> I haven't said anything. Exactly. Well, I didn't think I'd have to because I get uncomfortable. Guys, listen. No, it is a real thing. Your roommate, it, it's hard to confront them because then you 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 don't know if they're holding resentment for you. Like, <laughs> what if you're like, oh, but you don't do this and you don't do this. And I don't want to bring that up because I don't know if you're aware, but this was something that I was doing to make up for whatever I was lacking. Maybe that's just my own insecurity. Well, what you're not lacking, but what is really bothering me is you just chuck the towels in the washing machine See, and then the most- I'm just conveniently the next person to wash my clothes while I'm washing my t-shirts okay. with dirty tea towels. Get this because I'm the only one that switches out the dirty towels. Do you cook the most? Yes. Do you bake the most? Yes for you. So you're using them? For you to consume. <laughs> I also th- this is one of those things where I-, I clean I would say way more than you but that's because even if you do it I, I-, I feel like it's not like, I feel like I have to do it for it to be, for me to feel like it's done. Yeah. So, like, regardless, it's like a lose-lose. But, like, I'd say I back, or I pick up the floor way more. But it also, if it doesn't bother you as much, back, you don't think I vacuum more? No, I think there's stuff on the floor every, I do it in the morning when I wake up. No, I wake so up bad. super early. And I'll, like, pick, I'll pick it no, up. Not, not necessarily the dog stuff. Oh. I mean, like, the dirt. Okay. Winnie the dog stuff is every day. Yeah. I don't know. It's whatever. Regardless, I, I'm more of a clean freak, anyways. Like, I, yeah. I, so it's if it's if it gets to a certain point, it's like, come on, this is ridiculous. Yeah. But also, like, if the counters aren't wiped down, I, that grosses me out, and I hate it. But you yeah. probably don't care as much. Well, I clean the counters when I'm like cooking with the raw stuff. Like, I'll do that along the yeah. way, but I haven't like co- once again cooked in I, forever. No, it's more like crumbs and stuff. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, we haven't been cooking, so it's not like um like meat or whatever. Like there's not stuff going. It's just. I think it's so funny that you know you haven't done the dishes. What like yeah. what dishes are the, like you know what I'm saying like the dishes I do them I do them every day. Maybe it's just because you I don't know. Maybe it's because I leave earlier. Yeah, no. Like it, if you didn't is. do them and I, they were left, I would do them. Yeah, but the positive reinforcement is terrible. Positive reinforcement. Yeah, you reinforce my bad behaviors by just doing it. <laughs> okay, well they they need to be done after this, so okay. I can't wait for you to do it. Um, uh, should I talk about this or should I leave it? <laughs> like Why I've not? dogged on you enough. Okay. Why not? Um, also, this is just a little pet peeve. Uh, this is also being dramatic, but why don't you explain yourself? Okay, I don't know what the hell Fahrenheit is, so I don't know how to control it. She's like, turn it down a little. So I'm like thinking... The thermostat. Cel- the thermostat. The thermostat. <laughs> so I'm thinking in Celsius. I'm like, okay, if you put it down, maybe like... Like, I don't... like. Fahrenheit, there's just a lot of numbers. Like, if I put the thermostat down, like, maybe one or two degrees, cool. It has to be, like, a random number, like, five or six or something, like, drastic. I'm like, what is the point in this? I can't read Fahrenheit. I don't know what the difference between 71 and 78 is. <laughs> 78 would be so hot. That's here. what I'm saying. I know, but I'll say, like, hey, it's a little it's a little cold. Like, let's turn it up a couple. And for – you do now. No, you do now. You don't know what a couple means? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, because the, the, the yeah change is so drastic, I'm like – yeah. I, am I going to have to, like... But this is... Mind you, this happened probably a week ago, two weeks ago. And we've lived here for, like, a year and two months. And she didn't know how to turn up the temperature. She didn't know how to turn the fan... Like, she didn't know how to turn it to heat. 
cool. Like never has never touched the thermostat, which is honestly kind of a blessing because I get full control. But also sometimes when she's standing right there and I don't want to get up. Yeah. But now we know. But like I also just don't get bothered with it. If it's like too hot, I'm gonna take my jumper off. If it's cold, I'm staying with a blanket wrapped around that's me. So, I'm a natural resource girl. That's so true. I'll be like, it's cold. She's like, yeah, it's freezing. And I'm like, you can't I'm like, something. it's freezing. And I have like a hoodie and I'm like in my, I got socks on. And this also, this might be my upbringing because I had a natural fire as a heater. <laughs> Let's get real. I had to put logs on that. I'm not for this electrical stuff. Give me a log and some fire. I'll start you take care of it. Yeah. Yep. There's something so like gratifying and like I look. My dad's probably gonna listen to this and be like, "She's never done this." I've done like <laughs> once. Yeah, started the fire once. Ask, and you ever? know how I started the fire? I didn't even use any of the stuff I'm supposed to use. I just scrunched up, used paper, and just lit it. Okay. And hoped that it caught so fire. So if we got a fireplace, you think you'd have more control? No, nah, I'd be too lazy. <laughs> I would still just probably rub up. You still probably rely on me. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I would just probably wear my hoodie more. You would just suck it up. I'm just very frugal, that, that's, guys. That's guys, actually... I don't want to waste money. I'm very frugal. No, no, this makes so much sense. Because this... <laughs> because this is you in so many aspects of life. You just won't address anything you have an issue with. And you'll just suck it up and keep going until things are unbearable. Yeah. Until something <laughs> overflows. Yeah. Until you have ice. Until your tears are freezing over. You yep. won't do anything. Yep. Yeah. That I'm, makes so I'm so much... polite, guys. You're just non confront what, what? No, but I am. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I wouldn't say non confrontational <laughs> I would say, like, the little naggy stuff. I'm like, I would rather not waste my energy when on When it, it comes to, like, you, how you feel. Yeah, I can put up with the stuff that messed up. Like, if you came to me and you were like, it's, like, really uncomfortable how cold it is in here. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll do something about it. Yeah. But if it's me, no, I'm, like, I'm going to get frostbite before I do anything about it. Yeah. Maybe that says a lot about how I treat myself. I think it does. That makes so <laughs> much sense. It really adds up with a lot of other of your traits, dear. Okay. We're learning so much today about Halloween, about George's insecurity. <laughs> okay. Um, next segment is Song of the Week, which is brought to you by Hokey House. I down to Hokey House, listen to some great music, have some great food. There's a jukebox on the second floor. Go play your Song of the Week or our Song of the Week. Guys, mine is so obvious. Um, of course, it has to be 1989 Taylor's version. Um, and I will rank the vault tracks for you for anyone that cares. Don't know if you do or not, but for the mm, 4% that do, this is important. And I have an unpopular opinion, I think. Number one, is it over now? Obviously, it's so good. Uh, my number two, oh, wait, I can't even say that word. Number two, bad word. Number two, four letter word that starts with S, but not the first one that comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> My number three, now that we don't talk, and then four and five, Suburban Legends and Say Don't Go are tied. Everyone loves Say Don't Go. I know, I know. I love it too, but I just love the other ones so much. Okay. Okay, my song of the week is Freak Leak by Petey Pablo. Can you sing it? No, I actually can't. Can you? I can't find a specific lyric that Georgia, isn't kind of controversial. Come on. It's nothing to do with my voice. It's the lyrics. Can you make up lyrics. Make up your own lyrics. Sing it in the same tone. No, that's incredibly difficult. No, just think about Halloween. No, let, no. If you know Freak Leak, you know Freak Leak. I don't. But they, we're trying to put people on. I heard people know Freak Leak. Freak a leak? Yeah. Spell it. No. Uh, what? Next. <laughs> okay, whatever. <clears throat> okay. If you guys listened to last week's episode, you know that we answered you guys' questions from Instagram. Um, they had come from my Instagram last week, but Georgia also got a ton, so we wanted to target her audience and answer some of their questions. Okay. Obvious. What? Why are you laughing? What? Target audience. Yeah. Sorry. Continue. Okay. Well, these are a little bit more like Australian. They're more Australian yeah. questions. So this, this like claimer. I tried to get stuff that we could like both answer. I had like a lot of questions about obviously like my interest. Like I feel like you would have got a lot of Taylor Swift questions. Mm. I got a lot about like Arsenal and like WSL, like football, like all of that stuff. And I would answer them, but then like that's just gonna I'm gonna lose her. I could just sat here. I want this as discussion. Okay. Well, read the first one. I don't know these usernames. Too. <laughs> Just do your best. Sinok10. Say at. <laughs> at Sinok10. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor of shapes? You've tried shapes, right? Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of Wait, shapes. Wait, I would say my favorite has to be. This is an Australian snack, by the way. Yes. It's either barbecue or nacho cheese. Mm -hmm. But you had like a discovery that. Mm -hmm. You want to say discovery? Well, it's like, what is it? It's pizza, pizza and barbecue. Pizza and barbecue, yeah. Their barbecue flavor tastes like our pizza flavor, and their pizza flavor tastes like our barbecue flavor. It's kind of smoky. Yeah, so it's really confusing. 
But spot on, like, their barbecue is our pizza. Or is it the other one? Now I'm confused. Well, I like the green box. You have to go by colors. The green box is barbecue. Purple is pizza. I think we've had more purple. We've had more purple. Because I eat the green to myself. Mm, I don't share probably. those. I take them to my bedroom and my bed and I eat a whole box. Yeah. I probably, I don't even know which ones I like because now I'm, I mean, I like both of those. Oh, I meant to try the Vegemite. I actually don't mind oh, the Vegemite ones. I was going to say that. Anything but the Vegemite ones. Also, I'm sorry. if you're an Australian and you're listening to this, remember when they did that bull S and changed the recipe? Can you remember that? We've had a lot of common things like that over here. Yeah. They it's ch- like when Skittles went from um, lime to green apple, people were pissed. I don't know that. Mm. But they completely changed them and they had to change them back because they were like, if it's not broke, don't fix. Mm. They changed it back. But, and Skittles are the same thing. But then I think they went back. I, like, I don't know. I don't know the current st- snacking status of Australia is right now, but. I forgot that you have a thing against Skittles too. I don't have a thing against them. Like I <laughs> enjoy them, but I just feel guilt now that they did my girl Agnes wrong. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Um, so what your favorite shapes are, sorry. Barbecue, which is the green box, or nacho cheese, which is the blue box. Yeah, I'll say cheese to be safe. Nacho cheese. Oh, you've had nacho cheese? Yeah, I've had, like, all of them. Oh. Your, your family, your, your family doesn't no, send over, like, 18 boxes. Because there's regular cheese, which is the yellow, and they're kind of, like, a bit plain. Like, I would have to dip them in something. Oh, no. I don't know. Nacho cheese is really good, though. Nacho cheese. Or, nacho bar- cheese or barbecue. Really- I don't know. I like blue barbecue ones. Oh, but then the cheese and bacon. The pink no. box. No. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> Just kidding. It's probably really good. Okay. But you know shapes. what we really messed up when we went home was the Red Rock Deli. Like, <gasps> no, but, like, yes, the chips, but, like, the sweet, uh, oh, no. the I had sweet them. chili onion, oh, sweet chili sour cream, the baked biscuits I, I ate those on the plane back they're so but i like the chips better red rock deli has the best chips okay anyways <laughs> except for smith, smith salt and vinegar that's just classic but the, as i said previously chemical burns in the tongue i'm not a salt and vinegar girl i am anyways i, wish. I can go on for ages um <sighs> you got this adeline the- ah. oh my god ah. adeline the cool Sure. What's your go-to mid-practice snack? Gatorade. Great question. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that too. Sorry, you go ahead. Cause so we get like we get, we can get like a bottle of Gatorade, but like then the managers like make their Gatorade, and if they put like the ratio of like I think this is like a common like athlete known thing. Like when that Gatorade like syrup thick, mm, it just satisfies it so much. Mm. Okay, I have to water it down. Yeah. The, That's what I'm saying. I would want that because then I can have control. Yeah, it's better when there's too much powder because the water right next to it, you can do a little bit of it. When it's not thick enough, then there's nothing you can do. Yeah. But definitely Gatorade because it's a way to get in sugar mm-hmm. and you don't have to chew Quick. or it doesn't get like stuck in your teeth in practice because sometimes I'm starting to shake a little bit. I'm like, okay, I need calories. Sometimes I've eaten like um, fruit snacks and like I've had to sub in and I've still got like yes. an apple here, raspberry here and a black currant in between my teeth like what's a I'm black s- currant whatever the grape like the bre- oh great you guys don't know what black currant is no that's like a common juice flavor for us black currant yeah i've definitely heard that in bake off great british bake off but no <laughs> black um, currant, no. anyways i have different fruits in my teeth and they're not real fruit either but no i be chewing on fruit snacks sometimes mm-hmm. yeah for, if i had to eat something it's either goldfish or fruit snacks yeah um good question <sighs> you got it Zari Farley. At- oh, at Zari Farley. If you weren't playing basketball, what career path would you have chosen? I was like dead set on doing like um graphic design, like advertisement. So probably that. Okay, but let's not forget when you got here and I asked you what you wanted to be, your first thing you said was a police officer. And I might. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's I what you know. said. Um I would do a job that doesn't like like I want to be active. Like, I want to be, like, doing something. I want to be sitting. Doing... You wouldn't do well with that. Mm-hmm. Think. Like, if I was a firefighter, yeah. Well, sure. Scary. Why not? Yeah. Um, I got my undergrad degree to potentially go to med school, but we'll see what happens with basketball. Who knows? At Jidey3, fave thing to do when not playing basketball. Think about it. <clears throat> think about basketball. Are you asking me? Oh, no. think <laughs> That's so funny. Um, it's not really my favorite thing to do, but I can't. Yeah, <laughs> That's so funny. 
Oh my god, I need to post that on TikTok. <laughs> that is so funny. Think about it. <laughs> yeah. Especially during the season, you can try to have hobbies, but the whole time you're trying to bake those cookies, you're going to be thinking about the two turnovers you had in the game. Even in the summertime, like, I'll be trying to find hobbies, and, like, I've tried a couple of things, and I, I just find myself just thinking about the Miami game at Miami last year. Yeah, it's hard. I definitely do have hobbies. I love to read and bake, as I've said, like, 500 times. Yeah. And watch TV. I just love watching TV. You watch sports documentaries. I was going to say, I feel like my hobby is documentary. Like, I'm always like, oh, school. Like, I hate being graded. I don't hate school. I hate being graded. Mm -hmm. But, like, when it comes to, like, learning about stuff, I love it. I'll sit here and I'll watch a YouTube documentary. I don't even know if I'm learning is true or false. Mm. I'm learning some of it. I can't believe that was so funny. <laughs> think about it. I literally thought you were telling me to think about it. That's so <laughs> funny, Georgia. Wow, that's the best thing I've ever done. Um, at Kennedy Lewis, where does your outfit inspo come from? Great question. You can start. I, I don't know where mine comes from. Actually, I do know where mine comes from. Okay, go. Like Pinterest, I'll scroll here and there, TikTok. Um, but I guess I just follow. Unfortunately, it's like a rich, like, I, like all the people I follow are very either gifted it because their influences are just rich so unfortunately it comes from there so i have to find a lot of dupes mm, i would yeah. say just like a lot of like af athletes like but i'm talking like devin booker um stuff like that like like athleisure casual like coop up functional sure or like nothing that's like nothing now that makes me like uncomfortable yeah okay I'd say mine's Pinterest and TikTok and then just the same websites I sit and scroll for hours yeah. and see what's new there. Um, yeah. But also during this time of year, I don't have outfit inspo. I have comfort and that comes number one. That's what I'm saying, uncomfortable. Yeah. Especially when it's freaking cold outside. Yeah. Um, at Fotzoy87, favorite country song? <sighs> country Girl, Shake It For Me. Can you sing it? No, because you guys should know that. <laughs> Luke Bryan, right? Come on, girl. Come on, girl. <laughs> yeah. Um, only because it says Georgia Mud, and every time he says my name, I just do a little, woo. Yeah, I don't know what mine is. I have a – country reminds me of high school and uh, middle school because that was so my demographic back then, where I'm from. What? Dan and Shay. Dan and Shay is so good. Maybe tomorrow, Chris Young, or stay a little longer, Brothers do Osborne. I? Do I, or do I look? Baby, one? do I? In case you didn't know, Brett Young. Oh, uh, Brett Young's good. Okay, yeah. Next. Um, how did you pronounce the last name? Can you say that? At Natalie Archuleta. Are you related to David Archuleta? That's my question to you. And okay. your question to us was, what is your star sign? I'm an Aries. I'm a Virgo. I want to know if we um fit those categories. Yeah, I, don't I think, think I definitely do. I don't, I feel like you can put yourself and make yourself fit into any category. Yeah. But I, I also think there's a lot of Virgo traits that, that do apply to me. Um, I'm extremely type A. Uh, I can't relax ever unless things are done, like, at all. If I have a task to do, I can't relax yeah. uh, mentally or physically. Georgia, like, if I come in, I could have to pee so bad. But if there's clothes to put away, I don't let myself pee. Until my clothes are put away. She can't enjoy anything. Is that OCD done. or something? I don't, know. I don't know. I've got some. I've got the Virgo, I guess. Always KD3 asked, at always KD3 asked, favorite Australian snack? I would have to say those Mission Chili Lime chips, like the, the tortilla chips. Oh, they're so good. So good. I would say just like that or Cadbury. That Cadbury has a block and it's like a boysenberry block. I had so many blocks of those. I would just say any of the chocolate candy. Crunchies are my favorite, probably. Or like the big fat Kit Kats. Oh my goodness. Yeah, our Kit Kats are chunky. Or I love Milo. Um, yeah. Those. Um, Lilo and, at Lilo and Stitch asked, differences between New Zealand and Australia. Look, I don't doubt that this question comes from, you know, a good place in the heart. But to be quite honest, I've never bloody been to New Zealand. I don't know. I, I don't even think I've met that many New Zealand people. So my question to you is, have you been to Canada or Mexico? If you have, congratulations. Great. I would love to know what it's like. But, like, it's just because it's close. It doesn't mean I've really necessarily been. Yeah, I haven't been to either of those. So we're not the same. And especially, like – Aren't you guys, like, competitive with each other? Yeah, team? that's what I'm saying. Like, it would be like if, like, chuck out Team Canada, oh, Team Georgia. USA – 
That wasn't me for the for the audio. <laughs> when he's right here, that wasn't me. When he farted again. Go ahead, um, sorry. If you like put Team Canada and Team USA on the court, like, would you be buddies? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a like I've just never been. I I know it's beautiful. I've heard great things. I would really like to go one day, but I have never been. Mm-hmm. Actually, I've I've been once for a flight stopover. So I was there for literally maybe two hours, and I got questioned by the by the authorities. Mm. So um, not good mums. Well, they have to do their job. I don't know what impression I was giving them, but sure, we've got to keep the place safe. Um, at Brie underscore N N E. Favorite products right now, like favorite shoes, brands. <laughs> My odd one. I love it. Okay, go. Um, I don't know how to butcher it, but YSL is my favorite perfume right now. Bougie. Um, uh, my favorite shoes. I just bought a, I just bought a pair of Air Forces, oh. bringing them back. Yeah. There go to their I love that that's a statement. You're probably going to start that uh, recycling of the trend. I feel like I've, it's just chunky white, uh, not chunky, but like a decent enough white shoes. Like some jeans I wear, like if I wear dunks with them, they just look too low. Like it looks like too to the floor that like air force can give like a good proportion between like jeans to floor mm-hmm. and it's a little bit of a platform yeah you look good on platform because your calves too i have platform gazelles yeah I like them a lot. so cute um but favorite brands i've been looking a lot at okay i always oh actually i do know else collection okay you just interrupted me again. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I had nothing to say anyways. Yeah. Seriously, this time of year, I'm, I'm in sweats and team issued gear. Literally. Um, my, my, I'm not making any sort of style statements at the moment and that's okay. Um, yeah. That was our last question we had written down. Yeah. I know I had it up my archives, but. Well, I think we've talked a lot. I know. So I think we can call it quits here, guys. Thanks for joining us on this Halloween or the days following or whenever you're listening, but. We had a fun, spooky time. We did. Uh, George, we're going to continue were funny on. Today. We're going to eat more candy, and we're going to watch Halloween Town. Also, shout out to Quarterbacks on Netflix. That is such an amazing series. Um, oh, guys, Netflix. we're watching it in Kirk, Kirk Cousins on the weekend. Oh, we should talk about that. Kirk Cousins tore his Achilles. So sad. He's and such a cutie. Like, we're watching this together, and at the start, we were like, this guy's weird. <laughs> but then, like, we, like, slowly began to, like, have an everlasting love for him. I love him. So that's so sad. So Way sad. to end this on a great note. Especially because in the TV series, they're like talking about how he's like never been like primetime Kirk. Like he's never won big. Da, da, da. And did I tell you, he was like, when he I got know. hurt, he was like number one in uh, quarterback stats. That's so sad. Bruh, so sad. But that's just sports, guys. And I'm, obviously he knows he's been there, done that. Yeah. Um, so great way to end on a positive note. Sorry. You got anything happy to say? Um, we're about to Twix. eat. We're about to make some garlic bread. Some pasta. Carb load. Carb loading for practice tomorrow. And <laughs> yeah, it's necessary. So hey. hope you guys are enjoying your whatever day it is. Eat some candy, even if it's not Halloween. Make it your own Halloween. Treat yourself. Everyone deserves candy. Eat three to four pieces. I'd say. That's a good I would say beyond that. I think I sat on the couch and had those mini packet of peanut M and M's. I lost count last night. Three to four minimum. You gotta enjoy yourself. Okay, we're just rambling. We love you guys. Um, I'm Liz. I'm Georgia. And we're Queen's Castle. Bye.